Wow. Real joy in life comes from understanding people. to do anything the scent of skin is strong enough hugged on a little bit closer babe let's see if i can warm you up oh babe snuggle baby Drive you crazy, my cuddle baby Wanna stay, let's get stupid lazy to Sephora and then possibly Target because there's a couple things I need to pick up. I'm running out of concealer and I want to get a new mascara and I think I'm getting some Kiehl's PR. So I was going to go get the Kiehl's. I'm still probably going to get the Kiehl's stuff just in case because I don't know exactly what they're sending me in PR, but like having extras can't hurt. So we'll see, maybe. But then what else do I need to do? I think that's pretty much what I'm going to do. Those are the two places I intend on stopping, stopping while I'm out. Lord, I can't speak. And then I need to come home and film a video because I have a sponsored video coming up with Timu. So I'm going to show you guys the things that I've gotten. And you've seen me kind of wearing a couple of the pieces here and there. So we're going to style those pieces up. I'm going to show you what I got that's worth it. I'm going to keep it real with you guys. I had to let them know when I opened up some of the packages like, yo. <laughs> I'm not showing these like I will do the haul with these things that I really like but I can't show this because this feels cheap and there's no way I'm gonna sit here and act like I like this so they were cool with that so I'll be only showing you guys the things that I absolutely love and so I'm gonna come home and film that and that's kind of like what I have so far for my day I do want to start working on my jacket the one the Balmain inspired jacket so I, I don't know if I'm gonna have time to do that today I probably will not but I do have Saturday and Sunday where I don't have to babysit so if anything I'll start it on those those days we'll see but I'm gonna show you guys my outfit and then we're gonna get out of here and go 
sorry that my mirror is so dirty but this is the outfit this is the hair i got these earrings from the beauty supply so um love that this hope necklace that i got on the re recommendation of monroe um i bought it like way back when she recommended it i have on this zara a uh, tank top bodysuit, these Levi's that were just in a reel that I put live today. These are Levi's 501s, three sizes, too big, belt, Zara sandals, and then this cardigan that you guys might have seen me thrift uh, not too long ago, but just like a nice little layer because I feel like it might be a little chilly today and it's not too heavy of a layer. And then I have on my Chanel tote. So this is the outfit. I'm gonna grab some glasses, I'm not sure. There'll probably be some glasses that are already in my car. I think my Dior Sunnies would go really cute with this. So I'm going to see. I think those are still in my car. But this is the look. And I'm going to show you the fragrance that I put on. I recently got the Victor and Rolf <laughs> Flower Bomb fragrance sent to me, which I'm so excited about. It smells absolutely amazing. So I am wearing this today. Um, thank you to the team for sending me this. I absolutely love it, but I feel like it just, it goes perfectly with this outfit. So yeah, this is what we're working with. Still got my light <laughs> right here because I was filming earlier, but yeah, we're going to come back home and do these outfits and then um, whatever else I might have time to do today. So yeah. All right. I put on some glasses. Um, these are one of the glass. I actually need to make sure I take these into the house. These are one of the glasses that I got from Timu. And I don't want to forget to show those. But where are my Dior sunglasses? I haven't worn them so long. They're like far down here. Oh my gosh. I done found me another charge. Man, I need to clean that out. Okay. Oh, baby. Look at the box. That's a shame. That is a shame. But at least the glasses are intact. <laughs> That's terrible. Okay, hold on. Those there. Let's see how these look. I really think these are these are the move. Y'all remember these? I haven't worn these in a minute. I used to wear these all the time. Yeah. I feel like. Yeah, I like these. I think we're. Mm, I don't know. I feel like they're not really going with the the vibe of the earrings. Let me try these. These are my Celine Sunnies. I feel like I like that better. So we're gonna do those. What do you think? Yeah, I like that. Okay, so we're gonna go and get this package. I have a package. I don't. I'm not expecting anything. I don't think. Although I am expecting some stuff for sponsored content so maybe that's what's in here but we're gonna go in here and see and then we're gonna head to i want to go to sephora first and then we'll go to target so i'm gonna take you guys with me uh hold on okay my son accidentally took our fob to like everything back to school with him so we're gonna have to like get another one or try to figure out a way to get it back. So now I gotta go through my leasing office in order to get to my packages. Hi, I have to get to my. Oh, whose birthday is it? It's my coworkers' birthday tomorrow. Aw, that's nice. Okay, so it is a package from Dossier for our next collaboration. I'm so excited to smell the fragrances because I got some that I don't already have. So 
Um, we'll smell them in the next video though. to grab a water from them they have like a coffee machine and everything in there and I'm like so thirsty but even though I had coffee I kind of want another one and I don't typically drink more than one cup of coffee a day and I drink a small cup like I don't know if you guys pay attention to the size of my mocha pot but it's like uh four ounces i think it is of coffee in there i normally drink that and sometimes don't even finish my whole cup so i don't drink a lot of coffee but there are certain days where i want a hot coffee and then i want an iced coffee i don't know if you can relate to that anyway and now we're off but yeah so anyways i did want to talk to you like something crazy happened i don't want to call it crazy i just want to say that i am very aware like when you something comes to your attention and so I was watching someone on YouTube talk about hearing from God and this is somebody who reads their Bible all the time and you know they have their routine and all of that which is absolutely amazing because even I'm not that great with that Ooh, I'm... <coughs> excuse me even I'm not that great with that. Like, I'm not as consistent as I would like to be. But um, this person was saying that they don't hear from God all the time or not even every day. And they can only think of a handful of times where they strongly felt like God was trying to talk to them and show them something. And I thought that was really interesting because I know what it feels like to be there. I remember um, a large part of my childhood, a large part of my teenage years and early adult years like there were times where I felt strongly like, no, God will want me to do this. Like I, I understand what he's trying to tell me to do. But then there were other times, a lot of other times where I was like just thinking that I was making these things up in my head. Like I just felt like, mm, is that my thought? Like I, it was like not being able to discern. And you know, I think first and foremost, you definitely need to have the Holy Spirit, you need to operate in the Holy Spirit in order to hear God speak. I'm very lucky that I understand now that one of the ways that God speaks to me often is when I'm sleeping. And I've always had dreams. I've always seen things. I have always had dreams that have happened, but I just never really had somebody sit down and teach me like what that was and like what was going on with me so I didn't regard it in the way that I should and so I think that a lot of times when it comes to dreams you know people will have dreams and they'll be like these simplest dreams and people will say oh well, you know it doesn't really mean anything it was just you know simple or you know whatever the thing is God is always speaking always speaking and I think that a lot of people misunderstand sometimes the ways that God can speak to you like for me God speaks but God speaks through what he shows me so it's not some voice in my ear that's like Jillian do this Jillian I'm saying that it, it's not like that I'll give you a story so this is the first time I realized that God doesn't only speak to me in my dreams but also in day-to-day -day life in different ways and has quite a sense of humor let me tell you and you'll understand it when I tell you this story but there was a time where from the outside looking into you guys it might have seemed like everything was great I was so happy everything was working out designer bag this designer thing that going this place going that place but I remember feeling like gosh like I have these spurts of happiness, I have these moments of happiness, but like, I don't think I, I'm feeling joy. Like, I want to feel joy. I wanna feel real joy. And so I was praying about that, like, God, oh, why don't I feel joy? Like, 
what is joy have i experienced joy like it was just like an ongoing prayer and conversation and so um, along with that, I remember knowing that I needed to work on being patient as well because I lacked patience tremendously. Like I was a right now kind of girl. I want an answer right now. I want to do this right now, right now, right now. You know, patience was just not my virtue, okay? And I'm just keeping it real. Like patience is a really hard one. So God started dealing with me in my dreams about patience. And I posted this dream hold on let me plug in i am like literally my nose is like itching <laughs> anyway so i posted this on my story where i had this dream and in this dream i was waiting in line or I, not waiting in line in this dream i was going to a show um it was like a show where there was going to be a singer like or a band singing or whatever it wasn't anybody like that was well known in the dream i just we were going to see a show me and my husband and I remember standing, waiting for the show to start, and I knew that everybody was lining up outside in concessions to get snacks and things like that for the show. So I thought to myself, oh, well, I guess I should go get some snacks or something too. And so I remember going in the dream to go stand in the line at the concessions, and I just remember seeing a lot of shenanigans going on in this concession line there were people cutting each other there were arguments breaking out there were people trying to like slide through and go under the line all of these people were trying to fight their way to the front of this concessions line and i just remember standing there thinking like this is this is too much like i'm not even like really hungry like i i don't even feel like i really need to to be in this line and so I left and went back to the concert, but realizing all of the time that was wasted and spent in this line, I ended up missing the show and everybody else who was in that line ended up missing the show. Then the dream did a rewind and I ended up being back in the situation where I'm standing waiting for the show to start and instead of going to the concessions line with the majority of the audience, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna stay here because I'm not, I don't even need anything. And so I ended up staying and because all of those people were caught up in the concessions line, we ended up getting like what felt like a very private, intimate show and the show was amazing. And that was my first lesson on patience in a dream. Like I literally saw an enactment of what it means to be patient and to understand like you don't have to fight for what's for you like you don't have to like some there are people in lines in life and they're just like trying to fight and cut each other down to get ahead and they don't even realize everything they're missing out on just by not being patient and waiting for what's actually for them so that was that dream and I just got a revelation on so many different levels about patience so fast forward after that you know I I was going through this period where it was just like God was really dealing with me and speaking to me in my dreams and every time I woke up you know I was joking with my friend at the time like I just feel like every time I go to sleep I'm in God University like I'm always learning something profound when I wake up like when I wake up and it's time for me to like analyze and try to figure out what God's trying to say to me every time I'm figuring out these dreams it's something that's like wildly profound and revelatory for me and very applicable to life and like what I'm going through at the time and so um you know I started having a lot of moments where I would just randomly be driving somewhere and I would get revelation on something and I would immediately just start to cry and I remember like thinking like why am I crying so much like I'm not even sad like um every time I'm crying I realize I'm crying because I've had a revelation and it's just hit me I was at home working one day and I was in my chat at work and I was typing something and then I went to the emoji chart and as you hover over the emojis it gives you a word and tells you what that emoji means and so I was going to put the crying laughing emoji and when I hovered over it right before I clicked it, it said in parentheses, joy. And then it hit me that God had literally answered my prayer about feeling joy because I looked at this face that was smiling but crying at the same time and it brought me back to all the moments that I kept crying 
and wondering why am I crying? I'm, I mean, like I'm actually happy. I just, there's something that I just understood. Like I just got revelation of something. And then he brought it back to me and it was literally like, again, I didn't hear an audible voice telling me this, but he was showing me like, you wanted to feel joy. And I'm letting you know that joy comes through patience and understanding. And what you are crying are tears of joy. And so it was like an answer, like, oh my gosh, he answered my prayer to feel joy. And then also understanding every single time that I started crying and every single time I felt joy was because I had revelation and I understood, you know, understood something about life, understood something profound, understood something that had confused me, understood something about a person. And it was like, wow, real joy in life comes from understanding people it comes from understanding it comes from understanding yourself it comes from patience it comes from like all of these different things that you go through in life as long as you have patience and understanding you will always experience joy and so it was like one of those things where I learned that in a dream but I also learned that by an emoji. I'm like, look at you, Lord, using an emoji to talk to me. It was just such a dad joke to me. Like, really, he is our heavenly father. It just felt like such a dad joke that he would use an emoji on my computer to speak to me. But if I was in a place where I didn't have patience and I wasn't paying attention to every step of my day and everything that I was, you know, just being present, I might have missed that. And I would have missed that thinking God didn't answer my prayer. Like I prayed about this and God didn't answer me. But God literally answered me in a series of ways over a period of time. It, it was probably about a three to five month period of time where this answer came. But once the answer came, nobody could take that understanding away from me because of the way that he prepped the soil of my heart to, to give me all the seeds. And it's like when you get that level of understanding, it just sits. It sits deep inside of your heart and it cannot be pulled out. It starts to sprout and grow and produce a tree that produces fruit. And my fruit is now a lot more joy, a lot more patience, a lot more understanding. Like, and this is something that I did not have like a year ago. A year ago, this is not where I was at. I, I, I kid you not. It was not where I was at. I've had such a process. Okay. And so I say all of that when it comes to the way that God speaks in dreams, I think that it's very easy. Like I have a dream book, the divinity code, which I think is phenomenal. It's very scripturally based and sound. However, when it comes to having dreams and understanding what God is saying to you, first and foremost, you have to have the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit is going to tell you how to seek out the matter and exactly what to do. That's the first thing. The second thing is dream books are good when you are just learning and I even have a new dream book that I don't know that I want to even show you or recommend it right now because if you're not skilled already in interpreting dreams having that book might lead you off the path of what God's really trying to say not that the book isn't scriptural scripturally sound but it's like not as there's not a scripture for every single thing. You have to know how things operated in a certain time to get an understanding, if that makes sense. So I would recommend the Divinity Code if you're starting out because it's one that is solid. Sometimes I'll get a dream and I won't even see the word in the Divinity Code, but I will do something like, you know what, okay, Lord, you're going to have to help me interpret this dream because I have no idea where to start. And, you know, I feel God start speaking to me. And, and sometimes God speaking to me comes as a thought that sounds like my own, but it's not. It just is a thought that pops into my head. Hey, Jillian, why don't you look it up this way? Arrange the words in Google this way and see what comes up. So let's say I'm just going to give you a random example. I, drew, I had a dream of a fig tree. Look up the significance of the fig tree in the Bible. So I'll type Google, significance of fig tree in the Bible. And all of these scriptures will come up that have to do with a fig tree. And based on what you're going on, like what you're going through in your life and what's going on, you will know when a scripture hits because that's part of the leading of the Holy Spirit. You'll know, like it'll just sit like, ooh, this is, this is the one. And so you'll have the meaning of the significance of the fig tree along with other elements in the dream. Was the fig tree by a stream? Was the fig tree in a desert? Did the fig tree have fruit? Did it not have fruit? Like, what did it look like? How did you feel when you were looking at it? Because these are all indicators of what your dream means, you know? And so I think when 
you are questioning whether or not God is talking to you. If you are someone who has dreams, start there and, and use the Bible to look up what your dreams mean. And if you want help, use the divinity code. It's a very, very, very helpful guide, but don't use it and depend on it. There are times where I will sit on my dreams all day before I even think about cracking open that book because I don't want to be dependent on looking there for my answers and once the holy spirit starts to speak and i start to gain some understanding there are times i'll go there to confirm and it's like oh yep that's right here 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 there are times where i'll get a whole meaning of a dream and it's not really in there but aspects of it are and it just the way that the dream comes together and the way that i get the answer and it's all based on scriptures and it's biblically sound i just know boom that's it like even though i couldn't find that meaning in this book i know that this is it because of the leading of the Holy Spirit and how I was told to look this up. So I'm like the resident dream interpreter in my family and in my group of friends. Like I have friends who call me when they have dreams like, mm, what does this mean? I have coworkers who ask me, what does this mean? Like I am the dream interpreter now <laughs> because I have had to get skilled in it because this is the way that God speaks to me the most. And it's like, you know, I just feel like that whole saying, you know, I can show you better than I can tell you. I feel like that's how God deals with me. I can show you better than I can tell you. And he shows me in such a profound way that it's like he uses one sentence to say 10 different things. And for me, that's wild. So today I was waking up in the middle of the night from a dream and I knew that I had a dream, but it was wild because in the dream, as I was seeing the symbols, it was like my mind was translating the symbols in the dream so that I just knew, like, I just woke up knowing, oh, that's what you're saying. Okay. I didn't even have to look. Now, because of that, I do know that just like a parent with their child, once they start growing, now things are going to get harder. He's not going to continue to speak to me with the same symbols in the same way all the time because now it's like, I got to grow you a little bit. And so things are going to get a little bit more complicated. I just recently figured out a dream that I had three months ago. Like I sat, I was like, Lord, I'm not getting up from this place until you tell me what this means because it just felt like deep and it felt disturbing for me. And I was a little scared. But after I realized what the dream was, I was kicking myself like I had this opportunity to do this thing. And I didn't do it because I was scared and I didn't feel worthy. And it was literally right here. God was telling me exactly what I needed to do it. And I was just like, oh, mm, I'm not ready yet, you know? And so that was kind of like wild. But this time, um, I remember saying to myself months ago, like, I need to start writing down what I'm asking God, like the questions that I'm asking God, because I feel like he's answering my questions in my dream. And I'm just not always aware because sometimes I have a dream and I'll get the meaning, but it's like, what question did I ask that he gave me this dream for that? And so I had it in my mind that I was going to start writing down my request and my questions, but I just never got around to it. And last night I revisited that and I was like, okay, this is specifically what I'm praying for. I knew that I had today off and I was asking God, okay, so like, what are we doing tomorrow? Like, what will you have of me? What do you want me to do? How is our day going to go? Like what steps? Okay. What's our next step? I specifically said, Lord, what is my next step? What is it that you want me to do? Went to sleep, had a dream about a foundation, shoes, love walking i can't even give you the exact dream because my mind was translating the answer as i went so i didn't even need the dream in that way anymore to translate it was just like i woke up and it was like the lord was sign languaging to me i just knew oh okay and so i woke up and what he gave me is when you have a foundation that's rooted in love only then will your steps be ordered by the lord there's two scriptures i'll put them right here for that reference and I was like mind blown when I woke up that he literally answered my question just like that but in the way that I in a way that I wouldn't be dependent on an exact answer from him like he didn't say Jillian I want you to get up and do A B C X Y Z he said no here's how you make sure that you're always sound in making your decisions and, and making your moves and taking your steps like this is how you know what I want you to do is by making sure that this is what it is and so I love that because it's like, although God wants us to always depend on him, he still gives us a level of freedom and independence in how we move. He does that by not spoon feeding us exact things all the time. It's kind of like, these are your parameters. My husband likes to say, these are your parentheses. Operate within these parentheses. He gives us our parentheses and we operate within that. 
because a lot of times people will get stuck in indecision like I don't know what to do so I'm not gonna do anything at all because I don't want to mess up and you're not supposed to do things that way because in every single story with Abraham with Moses there are times where God will tell you look I just want you to go and I'll correct you and tell you what you need to do along the way and so when you get so stuck in fear which is not of God of making the wrong choice you are paralyzing yourself and blocking your blessings because you're not moving. And so God wants you to move and then listen for instruction as you go. Like if you're making the wrong decision, he's going to correct you as you go. Like when the story in the Bible, when they were going to anoint the king, I want to say it was David. I could be wrong with the story because of the names or whatever. But, you know, he was going to anoint the king and God told him like, me and my sister were actually talking about this earlier. I'm like, this is a perfect example of like getting instruction as you go. She was, we were talking about the story in reference to a different thing, but you know, I was like, you know, this is similar to like my whole view on like just moving and waiting for instruction because he was like, that's not who I told you to anoint. You're looking at the outward appearance, but I look at the heart. And so that's when he knew, oh, I, this isn't the wrong. Do you have any other sons? And so because of that, Obviously, he was able to fulfill his assignment and anoint the proper king. But if he would have said to himself, you know what? So who is it? Oh, he's not speaking. He's not telling me who the king is. So I'm going to stay right here because he didn't give me the name of who the king is. Uh, he would have been stuck. He would not have fulfilled the purpose. Like sometimes you have to go with Abraham. If he would have he said, go to a place I will show you. If Abraham said, well, you didn't show me and give me the exact direction. So I'm staying right here. Like, no, he went and trusted. And even when he was there, he still didn't know he was there until God told him, hey, I told you to let this person go. Okay, now now that you've let this person go, you're already here. But Abraham never would have made it there had he not just started moving, you know? So if you're stuck in indecision and you're at a place in your life where you don't know what to do and you're letting fear keep you stagnant, you need to just move forward and take the first step and trust that God will correct you as you go. Trust that you will get instruction and revelation as you go. And if you stay in prayer about that and you keep your eyes focused on a foundation that's rooted in God, rooted in love, then your steps are going to be ordered because that's how God makes his decisions from a place of love. So you're going to be able to clearly see as you go okay this not that okay, okay this not that oh i hear you okay this not that you're going to be able to hear it as you go and correct and self-correct and it's okay to make mistakes because we learn from our mistakes but what's worse is not moving at all because that's the biggest mistake you've already failed if you allow the devil to keep you stagnant you've already failed so just move and have some faith and trust that correction and direction will come as you go and that is what I was supposed to do today, which is why I had that dream. So I know that was for somebody, whoever that was for. Girl, the Lord was speaking to you. That that was not me. <laughs> so I'm going to get here. Uh, I'm going to get this stuff out of Sephora. I think I just want to get these two things. Concealer, mascara, and I want to dip because I don't want to get caught up in trying to shop around. And then I'm going to go to Target because I want to get some new bras so yeah let's go it's so wild being at the mall at this time because it's so empty like our mall is empty anyway because it's being bought out by a different company i think they're gonna try to turn it into a place kind of like the grove or the americana so it's like so it's like a ghost town here but i love it because it's not crowded and i can get in and get out and do what I need to do. starting to warm up a little bit and although although 
I really want to keep this sweater on because it's part of the look. We might have to come up out of it. Anyway, got my purchases. I'm so glad that I stuck to what I said I was going to get. Now, I cannot remember my Rare Beauty shade that I got in my concealer, but I do remember feeling like I wanted to get one that was slightly lighter. So I got 330 in. Hopefully this works out. It looks like it should be all right. I got a new mascara because mine is starting to get old and dried. And then I wanted to try this lip gloss, which my lip gloss is coming off right now so we can try this out. It was only $12, so let's see what it's giving. Smells like pepperminty. Mm. I do like the shimmer and the color. You know what it reminds me of? These frames. It matches that. I like it. Okay. That was that. Now we're off to Target. Hi. Okay. It's right up there. It's not like a lawnmower. Hey, how's it going? Hi, can I get a kid's chicken nugget meal? Yeah, yeah. can I just get the name for you really quick? Jillian. Jillian, for sure. And then you wanted the nugget meal, right? Yeah. Was Fries like, okay with that? Yes. With yeah, a lemonade? How about that with a drink? Lemonade, for sure. Anything else for you today? And Chick-fil-A sauce. And like Chick-fil-A sauce. Yeah, is the kid's toy okay? Do you want the ice cream instead? Uh, <laughs> it's for me. For sure? <laughs> um, We could do the ice cream, I ice guess. Cream, yeah. You want that in a cone or a cup? Cup. Cup, got it. And then you said Chick-fil-A sauce on the side, right? Yeah. For sure. Anything else for you today? No, that's it. Got it. All right, it's going to be a 765. Is that going to be card or card? Oh, card. Here I you can go. take that for you. Here you are. And then the receipt will be right at the window for you. Okay, thank I'll you. you I got a little hungry. I have really been on a Chick-fil-A kick lately. I don't know what it is but i just cannot get over here for breakfast i love the breakfast but i feel like i've had chick-fil-a this is the third time that i've had chick-fil-a in the last two weeks a shame yeah thank you okay thank you I feel like Chick-fil-A has some of the best lemonade because it's sweet but tart. It actually tastes like it comes from lemons. But that's just my opinion. Who do you guys think has, let me get in this lane actually. Who do you guys think has the best lemonade? I'm curious. Let's see if it's giving today. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I love when they have like their flavored lemonades. Can I get enough Chick-fil-A sauce? Yes, I did. I like the way they follow instructions. I told them exactly how many sauces I wanted and they gave it to me. I remember I was in this parking lot maybe a few weeks ago and I saw this homeless man going through the trash and getting like the drinks like leftover drinks and just pouring it all into one cup to drink and I just felt so like bad so I circled the parking lot to find him because I had a brand new unopened bottle of water in my car and I circled the lot and found him I wrote down my window I asked him if he wanted water and he just started talking and what he was saying just didn't even make sense and he was like I told you I told you before and he was just smiling and he said some other like combinations of like words but it just didn't even make sense which is why I can't even remember what he said but it was just so sad to me because I was literally trying to help him he was literally getting help but wasn't even in his right mind to receive help which is crazy because I feel like a lot of times or sometimes not a lot of times that can be us like where we're in a position to receive help but we're not even or we're in the position where we're getting offered help but we're not in the mental space to receive help and that was like a real lesson for me I never wanted to be to that point so I'm like just very highly aware whenever I am offered help where the source of that help is coming coming from for one because that's important but it was just so sad every time I come up into this Target parking lot I think about that that story that scenario because it like sat with me for probably 
a week or two after that. But, mmm, the fries are fresh. Mm, mm, mm. All right, I'm gonna sit here and eat for a little bit and then we'll go and target and get what I'm looking for, hopefully. I'm not even gonna lie, that kid's meal from Chick-fil-A really hit the spot. Like, just enough food. Me and my um, oldest son were on TikTok. He sent me a video where they were counting the fries in a small, medium, and large. And those was literally like a two or three fry difference. And the crazy thing about it is um, the price difference. And I was like, you know what? After watching that video, I'm always going to get a small. And so I did that. And then as far as the nuggets, it was like just enough. And then I even got a dessert. And it was so much cheaper than buying the adult one. I've never had their ice cream before. But it's really good. Probably won't even finish the whole thing. Although, I don't know starting to disappear quickly i might but i'm in um i want to go in target to get i have these like lace bras that i got several years ago and i had gotten them in quite a few colors but just over time they wear down you need to like replace them and i never really replaced some of the other colors and i really want to find black because like i have a black lace bra today that i got from h&m but it's not the most comfortable and the ones in here are definitely way more comfortable and so i only have that particular bra now i think maybe in green for sure in green but i think i only have it in green so i'd like to buy it in three more colors black brown and maybe white if they have it so that's what i'm going in here for and really hoping not to get sidetracked by anything else. I might actually have to order online. Oh, wait. I think I found it. <sighs> Praying this is my size. So these are the bras right here. This isn't my size, but... I might get this one though. It's kind of cute. This isn't what I want. I like that one too.
color is pretty. This one is pretty. So like I'm torn because these serve two different purposes for me. And I really want to get the blue one. dollars all right I'm gonna get I'm gonna put this one back because this one's 15 and I'm gonna get more of these oh my gosh these are so cute All right, these are so cute. So I'm gonna get the pack and it has all the different colors. And then the packs with the matching cotton bras. I love this. So I'm gonna get these. And then I'm not gonna get these. And then because I'm getting those, I'm not gonna get these, but I am still gonna get these. So let me just put these back and then I need to get out of here. I am so proud of me. I went in there, got exactly what I was going in there for and didn't get nothing. The only, well, I got one thing extra and I'll show you what it is. But um, I got these little Hanes bras. I hope that they fit. Like, says so extra large. I feel like it'll fit my my girls in there and be comfortable so i got this color and i got this color because the entire pack has these two colors in it so love that for me then i got the original bra that i was going in there for which was this one i really wanted to find this one in like this color in white but i have a feeling i'm gonna have to just try to order it online but i do have these in like two other colors at home and then I got this just for those easy days. I love the fact that it's just a nice little lacy bralette and I got it in blue too. And then the one extra thing I got was some little house slippers for my daughter. So all of that was $100. Well, it was like 107, but I had like a Visa gift card with some money left on it. So $100 and like 72 cents or something like that that's the closest i've ever gotten out of target to like a hundred dollars or less so definitely that is an accomplishment so now it's still fairly early in the day i have about six hours before or maybe like five and a half hours before my daughter brings my grandson for me to start babysitting duty tonight um, but after I babysit tonight and tomorrow, um, I am not, I don't have to babysit him again until the following week because she doesn't work on, what is that? She doesn't work on, oh, is that a level? <gasps> I just unlocked the leveler on my camera. Anyway, she doesn't work on uh, Saturday or Sunday, so I'm off. Oh, joy. But now... I'm going to go home and start uh, filming my sponsored video for Timu because I just want to get that out of the way. I had to contact them because like I wanted to make sure that I could actually style up the items with things that I already had because sometimes with these brands when they are asking you to do a dedicated video for them they don't want you to show like anything but their brand and so I had to get like get permission because it was going to change the way that I filmed it. <laughs> you know, whether or not they were gonna let me use clothes that were in my wardrobe. So now I can film it 
incorporating these items into my wardrobe versus trying to like be on the struggle bus with just showing y'all the item because i like to show how you can style things up and mix it in with what you already have so i'm glad that that was approved so um that is that i just need to go home and figure out what i'm gonna style with what which i kind of have an idea like they're fairly simple pieces that i'm showing and i have like several pairs of earrings that i'm gonna show so um i might show like film the footage showing the earrings first just taking out these earrings and putting in the earrings to show and then i will put together the outfits because i only have like five to six clothing pieces and I really got stuff that was basic because I just feel like it was a little bit more realistic I only got like a couple statement things so yeah anyway I'll see you guys a little bit later I think I'm probably low-key gonna end the vlog for today right here because I have a full weekend I feel like ahead and so I'm gonna pick the vlog up back <laughs> pick I'm gonna pick the vlog back up on the weekend that's what I'm gonna do but today I gotta film other things and so yeah see you guys on the weekend <laughs> It is so cold today. I don't know if you can hear me, it's kind of loud out here, but it's gonna be 66 degrees today. And tomorrow I think it's gonna be like 65, but then all next week is gonna be like 80s, 90s. So we're entering into that like bipolar weather. <laughs> so, um, ooh, ooh, that breeze. Okay, but that just means that I could start actually wearing my fall wardrobe so i'm gonna put together a really cute outfit today um i want to try this coffee shop that i've never been to out here and the coffee looked really good hopefully it's not bad and i just drove over there for nothing but i want to try this new coffee place and i honestly i think i'm just gonna take it easy today i'm having like a really bad allergy attack because of the weather change and all of the winds so I'm not really sure if this is going to get worse or not, but I feel like I also may need to get some allergy pills or something like that. Trying to decide if I want to just make coffee and a little breakfast and then go, but it kind of seems counterproductive to make coffee and then go get coffee. So I just kind of need to figure out how my day is going to go, but for now, we're going to make cinnamon rolls. And it's so... It's so dark in the house and I don't want to turn on lights, but I have to turn on lights. Yeah, I still have my, my rack set up from the video that I just filmed, but I need to do some cleaning and um, do I have anywhere I could set you guys? Wait, bay. maybe right here. I need to um, clean up today because there's literally stuff everywhere. Ah! And I kind of want to film another um, outfit video. I'm trying to give you guys a lot of style inspo for the upcoming season. And I'm actually just inspired myself. And I just don't want to, like, I really want to just start going into my wardrobe and putting outfits together with the things that I already have because I really need to figure out which things are in my closet for no reason. <laughs> things that I'm just like, I think that they're so cool to look at, but I'm actually not gonna wear it. I need to figure out which things those are. And then just things that are something, let me see what you have. That's cool, but maybe change your shoe. You wanna wear those shoes? Yeah. Okay um where was i y'all lord where was i um i want to yeah i basically just want to see which things are realistic to keep in my wardrobe that i'm actually going to wear and just not sit there and look at like they're pretty so i am actually doing i'm doing a closet overhaul <laughs> i am 
pulling out things that just do not serve me, keeping the things that I absolutely love. And the best way for me to figure this out is literally to try the things on and style them in the outfits, which is how these style videos are happening as well. Like this is the purpose. I'm gonna take an emergency just in case because my parents had COVID and even though that was, you know, like what, two weeks ago now at this point or a week ago and a week and a half ago or whatever, I just don't wanna get sick at all and for me sometimes when i get allergies it's really hard to tell if i'm getting sick or if it's an allergy attack because the beginning symptoms are the same but i've been taking emergency every day anyway um it's also potentially gonna rain today it said like 66 percent chance of rain which is pretty solid so i'm gonna emergency time I like getting this over with. So I literally fill the water up just like this, mix it together so it's like a concentrated vitamin C shot. I just, you know what? I'm gonna do another one. I just, I really don't wanna get sick. I do not wanna get sick. By the way, that, um, that, what was I gonna say? that concealer that i bought at sephora i literally got the perfect shape oh my gosh it's not the one that i had so i had 330 c no no no, no. 330 which one did i have hold on okay so here it is i had 340 c and i got 330 neutral and it's literally like the perfect step down and tone change. So I'm really happy about that because I love the way that it looks. I tested it out on my skin last night before I got in the shower and washed my face and everything. And I love it. However, depending, see my eyes are kind of like watering a little bit, which happens when I have allergies. If I feel like my, my if I feel like my eyes are going to be watering all day, I'm not putting on any makeup actually I might just do a light a very light brow and call it a day but um we'll see I think I need to just let me take this I think I'm gonna just get dressed and go like while it's still early I think it's like 10 it's not even 10 30 yet and I just I kind of want to just get my day started and then I want to come back because tomorrow my mom my mom's birthday was like a week and a half ago or so maybe even more it was like yeah maybe like a week and a half ago and so her sisters they all always she has she's one of nine so there are eight girls and one boy one of them lives out of she's in Ghana right now so she's not going to be there and actually she's in Ghana for the next several months because she is getting her citizenship because they're going to be moving out to Ghana and I can't wait because I'm going to go visit rep a rep for the Ghanaians but I want to go visit I cannot wait <clears throat> so um my aunt my other aunt just got back from visiting her in Ghana her and my um cousin both my cousins so her and her son and her daughter both of my cousins they all just got back from Ghana so I want to go I'm up next and so um but anyways we're meeting for my mom's birthday like a birthday brunch and I am going to be doing that tomorrow so I really kind of just want to take it easy but I do have I want to start on my bomb on jacket so Although that's going to be boring for you guys, it's going to be quite fun for me. So we're going to see. Mm. Tastes like orange soda. Anyway, let me just get this down, figure out my next move and I'll catch up with you guys. I got dressed. I am just about ready to go. I just, I realized I forgot my rings, but I'm going to show you guys my outfits. I actually have some returns I need to do today that I kind of low-key forgot about, so I'm glad I'm going out right now. But let's get into this outfit, and then we're going to go. <laughs> she said she's obviously going to be here to show her outfit, too. She has on her little leggings, her little sparkly combat boots, this oversized fur hoodie, 
Is there anything else you want to show about your outfit? No. Okay. And then for me, I have on this Chanel t-shirt, cross jewelry, sparkly beauty supply earrings. I have this waisted co quilted um cardigan that i thrifted and actually i included this in some of the mystery boxes that i put together so some of you guys have this too so if you're looking for styling ideas here you go i have on my baggy levi's that i told you guys i wear at least once or twice a week steve matten uh bottega dupes because they match this perfectly and then i'm wearing my chanel tote and then these glasses from my timu haul that will be up before this video so you guys can see the link for that but yeah this is the look and now we are off for errands let me go get my rings it officially started raining so that's interesting i don't know that i'm gonna be out all day like I don't want to be out in the rain but anyway I'm headed to Kohl's right now because I have a couple returns for Amazon and then I'm gonna head to the new coffee place I hope it's not too far I didn't even try googling it to see exactly how far away from me it is but it's in the city so it can't be more than like 20 minutes away so let me figure out where that is so I can see how far I'm actually driving <laughs> Return is done. I just Googled the coffee shop. It looks like it's about 10 minutes away. That's not too bad. So we're going to head there now. The verdict, the hazelnut chocolate croissants, absolutely amazing. I tore that up. The coffee, um, I went in there originally for their pumpkin spice latte and they were completely out of it, which I feel like is an indicator that it's really good. So she made me like a maple, like a maple latte or pancake maple latte or something and she added cinnamon. And I had her make it a little bit more sweet. Now, hmm. If this is more sweet, then I wonder what it would have tasted like without me saying more sweet. It's not that sweet. You guys know I love candy for coffee. <laughs> but I will say the full bodied flavor is definitely there. I think with a place like that, the key is going often and then kind of like customizing your drink as you go. Because I think with Starbucks, a lot of people love Starbucks. And Starbucks is cool. Uh, but we love Starbucks because we've been going for so long and we've altered our coffees along the way and we know all the secret recipes or the secret menu and all of that. So it's really easy to kind of create a drink that you like that keeps you coming back. So I think with the smaller coffee shops, you have to put in the same time and effort into finding a drink that you like but all of the flavors and the ingredients and everything all of those are there so i would definitely come back definitely for that hazelnut chocolate croissant because that was just mm, so good um but now i'm not sure what i'm really gonna do i kind of like low-key i just want to go back home and we're not going home but she don't want to go back home so i'm trying to figure out we're going to cool <laughs> I don't want to no. know I'm trying to figure out what we can do next like the weather is not permitting very much so Billy B uh -uh. 
<laughs> no. Um, no. Uh oh. I think I'm not supposed to go the opposite way out of here. Wow, Jillian. Okay. That's the thing about being in a new parking lot. I think I was supposed to go around. So let me turn back around and follow the rules. Because when you see, see the arrow on the ground, that's going one direction. Oh, it says one way right here. See? Read signs. Yeah, I'm going to read signs. <laughs> um, yeah, it's important to read signs. Really? All right. I see. I didn't even know all of these houses were over here. And they are so nice. Like, look. Like, right by me. I don't know if you guys can see like this house right here i'm trying not to let my tripod be in the way but oh well like this house right here is so pretty and then this one right here that you're about to see is like a long one story where i feel like camera's not doing it justice but it looks really cool over here oh right here no. there are so many like little areas little houses around in my city that I still like discover like I've been out here for at least how long 12 13 years and I ain't never been to this coffee shop <laughs> never so I've been making it my mission to kind of like explore because I don't know how much longer I'm gonna be in California I really am contemplating an out-of-state move so I feel like I don't want to be one of those people that didn't fully take advantage of living in California and especially this close to LA. I feel like people who don't live out here come out here and do so many cool things and I'm like, hmm, I didn't know that was out here because we just be out here living life and they be out here ready to explore. So I want to be, you know, one of those people that's always ready to explore and try new things. Anywho. There's also a lot of like horse property around where I live. It's very much similar to like Calabasas, Agora Hills type area. Um, yeah, there's like so many like farm areas and like horse properties out here with like really big houses on it too. So anyway. We really want to move to San Francisco. We don't want to move to San Francisco. Well, where do you get that from? Um, anyways. Which book are you getting? Dork Diaries. Dork Diaries. Okay, let's go. For me, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get this. This looks like it could be really interesting, quite hefty, but I really wanna read this. So I'm gonna probably get this. I'm actually gonna see if they have the newer one. She ended up getting Dork Diaries. I got her a little bookmark and then they gave her a little Dork Diaries keychain. So here you go. You see? You can put it on your backpack. Uh -huh. And then I got this is the this is the most recent one. But 
this is if you want to snap that. I'm actually excited to go through this. I love getting like really cool fashion magazines. So I got that and it's real girthy too. It's heavy. So anyway, I think I'm going to head home now because I just want to relax. It's one of those days. It is. It's only one. It's so early. Okay. I think I'm going to head home now and there's like a quick little thrift flip that I want to do for a sweater to turn it into a shrug because right now the weather is perfect for it. So I don't know if I'm going to actually get around to doing it. I don't want to, I feel like I keep promising y'all a thrift flip and then I get home and I'm like, mm, change my mind. But if I get to it, I will let you guys know, but I just kind of want to get home and sit still for a second. And then also I feel like I do want to straighten up my house a little bit. I mean, there's only so much straightening up I can do for right now. Um, just simply because what is required is I need to like go through some things and like do an overhaul and organizing and whatnot. So I'm going to have to figure out and game plan exactly how I want to do that because right now, girl, I don't know. I really don't know. I don't even feel like I'm up to doing it or have the energy. I don't know. Does it don't isn't every single one a separate story? Yeah. So then I don't think it matters. You can always backtrack and get like one of the other ones that you miss. But if you get through that one, after you get through that one, I'll buy you the next one. I also feel like I have no energy because I still kind of have like a mild headache. And that is kind of like what's throwing me a little bit. I feel like honestly I want to take a nap <laughs> that's what I feel like I feel like I want to lay down and take a nap but I feel like also if I take a nap will it drain me for the rest of the day that I don't know but I do feel like my body needs some rest so I'm gonna get home sit down for a little bit and then pick the camera back up if we decide to do something or if there's something like I want to show you guys because right now I just cannot even wrap my mind around anything other than sitting down or possibly even a nap. Or me. Or you what? Or me. Or you, you want a nap? Yeah. What do you want? I said, you said that like you can wrap your mind around it. Oh, uh, and I also got to do her hair, like wash it, comb it out the whole the whole thing before tomorrow so I'm trying to like save up energy for that too because her hair is an all-day mission so reconvening later I just got up from my rest I actually didn't end up taking a nap I just like kind of laid here but it was exactly what I needed because now my headache is completely gone and my husband was uh, gone filming a podcast so he's back and I think we're gonna run over to get something to eat. I don't want anything super heavy, but I do want something that has like chips and cheese and red sauce. So like a nacho or something, I don't know. So we're gonna run over and get something to eat. And since it's at the mall anyway, I'm probably gonna pick up my mom's gift. And the great thing about waiting till now is I know she's not there anymore. So there's no chance that I'm going to run into her. So I'm going to throw my clothes. Well, I kind of have on the shirt. I just kind of took off my pants and everything else. But I'm going to put my pants and my little outfit back on. And I'm going to swap out my shoes for the ones that I got from Timu. The fluffy cream ones, which you guys would have seen in a haul by now. But I really like the way that those look and they're super comfortable. So... I'm going to put everything back on and I think I just heard him lock his car. So I'm about to go down.
It's the end of the weekend But I still wanna turn up Yeah, I still wanna turn up All I want is to go again But you ain't picking your phone up Why you messing my head up? Any night, any day Let me take you away All I need is just saying yeah, 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 yeah Better nights, better days When you're here with me, babe Cause you're all that I crave So I wonder I am home in bed, but I wanted to show you guys these magazines that I got. I'm sorry that the quality is, you know, lacking, but y'all know I vlog on my phone until I get my camera fixed. But these are so cool. I'm going to show you exactly what they look like. And then if I can link it or find like where you can buy it online, then I will definitely do that. So it came in this and both magazines were in here and it was taped, not taped, but rubber band with this, which we're going to go over. But this is the first one. And this has more of like the interviews with the industry experts and things like that. And I do notice that each designer kind of has their own page, which I think is really cool. So I can't wait to kind of like go through this and read what they have to say. And then for the next one, this is the cover for the next one. And this one has just a ton of like pictures from fashion week, like street style things, other types of photographs. And I just think this is so cool. This is going to be perfect for my coffee table, but of course after i read it first and i love the quality of the pages because they're like thick not traditional magazine pages and there's just so many cool pictures on here so i could definitely see myself wanting to take some of these and tear them out and frame them because that's the quality of the paper but it's just so cool and i love it and then it came with this which has like a cd so this is right here anatomy of a relaunch and then it has this disc which is the show soundtrack that's interesting what's this what is this oh a key oh that's so cool so you could actually take this and use this to get like a house key made that is so awesome by this brand. I love that, that's so cool. So let me try not to scratch the CD. And then it has these things, actually, let me turn this around. This is cool, what is this? I'm gonna have to like really look and see what this is. I'm sure it'll tell me and then this is cool you could actually take these and like frame them if you have like an office and this is the logo oh these are like for real pictures if i were to get like four to six frames how many is there four frames that's super cool and then what is this okay oh this is the runway map and it's like out of that clear contact type paper not contact paper but like clear paper has the model's entrance and the photographer seating this is super cool and i'm pretty sure that this is like the people who helped put the show so that's super cool. And then what is this one? So there's like quite a few of these. I'm gonna assume that they're all something different. What's this? Oh, this is interesting. So I guess technically, how would you do this? So you can actually take this. Oh, that's pretty cool. So you can actually take a photo, not this one necessarily, but a photo that's this size, put it on here and then get the whole entire thing. 
framed with this as the backdrop. So that's pretty cool. So you can really create a whole wall of fashion photos with this, which I think is cool if you have an office. And what is this one? Same thing. So I guess you could really just take all of these. I wouldn't do it for the one that had like the runway seating chart and the pathway or whatever, but you can definitely do it with these. And is this a letter? A letter in French. I'm learning French currently, so we'll have to test my skills. But that's cool. And then let's see what this one is. This is really cool too. So I would say that this has like a lot of wall art. Let's look at this last one. And I just love the way the paper is this clear type of tracing paper. This one would be cool to put like a photo right here. That's cool. Just looks like blueprints on this really clear, cool paper. And this is the last couple things that were in here so this is I think all of the looks oh this is so cool that's so interesting and then what is this oh this would be so cool to like frame This is such a cool thing. Love it. So I'll have to save all of these when I have my office slash closet. And yeah, that was everything that was in here. But I really feel like, do I care about the bracelet? Not necessarily. The key was the cool thing and the CD with the soundtracks. So I think that's cool. I just feel like it. maybe it should have had like a case. So we'll see. But yeah, I'm going to put all of this away. And I'm going to kind of like look through the magazines. Me and my husband are about to watch Big Brother. If you guys watch Big Brother, tell me down in the comments who you are rooting for at the moment. I feel like I'm rooting for Sari and Jared because I just want to see a mom and son win. That would be so awesome. I'm so sad that Izzy got voted out, but you know. We'll kind of see. It's 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 really a tight race right now. So tell me who you're rooting for in the comments. And I will see you guys tomorrow. I am completely dressed. Did not get a chance to show you guys my outfit. But I'm going to try to set you up somewhere to see if I can show you. Hold on. It's going to get a little... Uh, the quality is going to not be so great because you're on my front facing camera. But... that's the outfit and um it's supposed to be uh like 60 it's like 60 something degrees right now so that's why i have on a jacket but i do have on the corset over the sheer free people top um but anyways yeah this is the look so this is his fit leather shirt you guys know i have two versions of this his is thrifted as well his sweater is thrifted are the jeans thrifted no no but yeah he looks cute you know or whatever <laughs> okay so we parked and i see a thrift we're gonna have to go there on the way back but for now we're walking to the restaurant it was a little bit of an ordeal to park because one of the parking structures we would normally park in they had completely shut it down i'm gonna show you the scenery though there's this place here called honey kettles fried chicken that me and my husband love we're gonna eat light at brunch so that we can go literally next door it's next door and eat there afterwards and i'll show you guys what that looks like you guys i had to i had to run back because <laughs> i forgot the gift but now we're we're on the way
Next corner. Yes. I'm introducing you guys to my auntie. Hello. <laughs> oh, I'm scared. I'm her favorite. She I is just my favorite. I just wanted to clear. We have to clear that up. This is my favorite. Yes. Hey, that's okay. You got my message? I did. Okay, good. <laughs> no, one earring. Yeah. I had like random little notes. Hello, Auntie Joy. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. 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 Lonely with just one charm. I know. They have company now. <laughs> this is so cool. A little thermos. Okay, we're videoing. We're videoing. We're trying it. Hold on. Come on, Azzy. I'm going to get a picture too. Oh, you put her mask on? No. Come on, girl. Yes. 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 Say hello to my other mother. Hello. <laughs> Okay, so I only got French toast there and um, that I split with my husband because we knew we were gonna get Honey's Kettle Fried Chicken, which was next door for eating on the way home. And I just have to show you guys, like if you're ever in the LA area, this is like, if you are familiar with Golden Bird, this is like old school Golden Bird. Like, so good. I just wanna like, I don't need to eat all of it right now. I just want to bite. Let's listen to the crunch. Mm. It's the crunch, man. Mm. Mm. Some of the best chicken. Mm. You want good chicken from LA? Honey's kettle fried chicken.